Good morning, viewers. This is a piece of red corundum, or otherwise known as synthetic ruby. This is about an 8 millimeter piece. It weighs about 5 carats. And I'm going to cut it just in the standard round brilliant. And I'll dop it with, with wax. You can't hurt corundum. It's, it's not heat sensitive at all, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, I've completed the dopping. And we'll start cutting and we'll start rounding the stone first on the machine. Okay, the dop stone has now been inserted into the coil of the machine. And I'm going to set the machine's angle at 90 degrees. All right, we're set. Now we'll set the, uh, the dopped stone to uh, freewheel by pressing the lever and turning the thumb screw down. Now the stone can free freely turn. Now we have to move the whole thing back. So what I do is release this lever now the whole head can come back the mast and head tighten the lever now I can bring the whole thing down let me change the angle here now I can bring the whole head assembly down Loosen that lever, come down to here, tighten the lever. Now I'm ready to, to do my fine adjusting so that the stone contacts the lap. Right now it's not touching. Okay, I can do some fine adjusting by turning the, the adjuster up here. I'm lowering the whole head assembly. Okay, now I'm touching, so I'm ready to start grinding. So this is rounding the stone. I'm not cutting a facet, I'm just getting the stone rounded. Gemstone is now rounded. And before I go further, I'm going to pre-polish it to 8,000 grit. And that's all I'm going to do. It's going to look like a nicely polished girdle when I'm finished. I'm not going to facet the girdle. I'm just going to pre-polish it. It'll be a smooth girdle. Okay, I've uh, pre-polished the girdle, but I'm going to call it just a polished girdle to 8,000 grit. So 
So next I'll start to cut the pavilion. I've got to look up the uh, angles. I think around 40 degrees is 40, 41 degrees is a corundum pavilion angle. Okay, the cutting's going good. Got a little bit deeper cutting, deeper cuts to make take out the uh, bad areas there. Well, guess what raised its ugly head? An inclusion right there at the girdle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut all that out or not. The rest of it looks good. But anyway, I'll go ahead and try and see if I can cut down and when I do the crown, whether that'll come out or not, or at least it'll be near the girdle anyway. Okay, starting to pre-polish the brake facets with 8,000 diamonds. This lap is noisy. The stone's now completely polished. Okay, I'm going to do the DOP transfer. I've got my cone DOP ready to go. I've cleaned the DOP. I've cleaned the stone with alcohol. I've mixed up some epoxy glue and I'm going to put that in the cone. Stop number one is going to be removed from the stone. I'm going to use the uh, alcohol lamp and I've wrapped the stone with a wet paper towel. This is the top we're going to remove, top number one. Okay, there we have it. The stone is ready. I'll just take off some of the wax and be ready to start cutting the crown here. I'm starting to cut the crown main facets at 36 degrees. I'm working my way around cutting the mains. Now I've cut all the facets and I've finished the pre-polishing. So next I'm going to use the bat lap, which is a tin lap. I'm going to put 50,000 diamond paste 
onto it and uh, finish all the polishing. Then the last step will be cutting and polishing the table. Okay, I fully polished, fully polished the crown here. And the last step will be cutting and polishing the table facet. Here I'm final polishing the table. Okay, the stone is finished. Next step is to remove the stone from the dot by heating. I'll heat the stone and the uh, epoxy. And it'll release and come off pretty easy. There we have it. Synthetic Ruby. Check the weight. Carrots. This gemstone measures 6.8 millimeters in diameter.